Having been in the industry for 25 years and specifically in the contract manufacturing space for the last 20 years, I've certainly been involved with many different operations, building facilities, growing facilities, adding fill lines. Number one, we started working with AES way before the project itself was kicked off. And we did that because we knew that AES had the capability to support an early phase design build, which we needed for planning purposes. We also knew and could entrust that the AES team would take it to the next level on the integration of that design into what is now a best-in-class facility. I personally got to know the AES team over 15 years ago in working with them on a project and developed a nice relationship through that time to culminate into our partnership today. I was privileged to be able to meet with the founders of Incog Biopharma before the company even existed. We had a long-standing relationship of working together in the past, and I was welcomed into their early conversations about developing this business. It started with the Compass design. Given that this was a greenfield build, we had to break the project into two phases. The Compass program is just a necessary step that all designs have to go through, simply because you need to have a meaningful set of data to discuss with clients, including cost, scope. Oftentimes, the most successful projects, like INCOG, they know right away the importance of having a robust conceptual design and a company that can do that for them. The first phase was really the initial design. What is it that we wanted for INCOG to look like three years, five years, 10 years down the road? That process of working with AES and designing and building the facility probably went as smoothly as I would have expected. So learning about AES's capabilities with Faciliflex, that was of extreme importance to the urgency of our project, of uh, being able to have good design and delivery follow on shortly thereafter to build what we built here at NCOG. We can do design build and incorporate all of the mechanical, architectural, and electrical design. And once we have that all put together, we go to our manufacturing in Atlanta. And then at the end, the customer gets a turnkey package with quality documents and a certified clean room. The biopharma industry is changing dramatically and it's all focused on speed to patient. So facilities need to be developed as quickly as possible, become functional, and start producing product. We use the entire skill set of our whole company to help define the facility, ultimately design what it needed to do, and then deliver on the functional cleanroom facility. The BIM technology we use, the building information modeling, helps the client see the actual building before we actually build it. The 3D modeling that our architects produced allowed the platform that our engineers then could BIM coordinate the ductwork and the piping systems and the electrical systems above our clean room ceiling. This was very important because it allowed contractors to coordinate this in the field and save time. With construction schedules as tight as they are these days, this allowed INCOG to get into validation quickly. You can see all the different levels of the clean room. It isn't just the clean room that you're in, it's all the support structure above it with the walkable ceiling and the mezzanine for air handling equipment. When you're in the clean room facility, you just expect that it works, that it's creating the right temperature and humidity and pressurization and cleanliness. We don't see that. That's what exists above the clean room ceiling, the HVAC systems that are distributing the air to and from the clean room facility to properly condition it. We don't see that when we walk around the clean room, but we most certainly need it as the heart of the facility guarantee and performance. This facility is designed and built to support our customers. There's a need for supply reliability to make sure we take care of any drug shortage, also to make sure we deliver sterile injectables to our customers when needed. Aseptic fill finish is where the final drug product is put into its final container closure. So it's going into the vial or the syringe or the cartridge. So it's the last manufacturing step before the product gets to the customer. These are products that get directly injected into the bloodstream. It's extremely important that we have an environment that's very easy to clean. The cleaners that we use in our cleaning process are fairly aggressive. If you were to use them on a regular drywall product, they would degrade very quickly and cause even bigger problems. We need something that's robust and that we can very easily maintain. 
When I think about speed to market and getting a Biopharma customer to our site, one of the first things they comment on is the amazing clean rooms that you have. Everything from the epoxy floors all the way through the air handling systems, the window systems, the integrated lighting, all of those things are really important to our business in terms of how we look and feel to our customers. When you're choosing the vendor that you're starting the project with, you're actually choosing the partner that you're going to develop the next project and the next project over the next 10 or 15 years. So when we went to the choice of AES in the beginning, that was really for us a decision about who our partner is going to be for 10 or 15 or 20 years. I feel confident that the product we have is gonna look as good in year 10 as it does today. We're here to create the facility, allow it to operate invisibly so that our client can really focus on manufacturing. Our facilities really do serve a higher purpose, and for me, that's why it's personal. What we do makes a difference. What we manufacture here will have an impact on patients, whether it be improving quality of life or hopefully prolonging life, or who knows, maybe that next drug right around the corner is a cure for cancer and certainly we want to be able to have the capabilities, the capacity to support that product when it comes to NCOG.